Well, hey there, all you Battlefield fans and folks who are confused as to why this isn't a GTA 5 episode. Welcome to the Gun Show, Weapon of the Week. No, we're not ignoring one of the biggest releases of the year. We are, in fact, planning a full-length, original, old-school spectacular for it coming your way next week. But in two weeks, the Battlefield 4 beta hits, so it's time to get serious. We're culling from all the past games, tapping into available knowledge sources about Battlefield 4 to bring you some advanced strategies and tips in this episode of the Gun Show, Weapon of the Week. Let's start with some knowledge bombs, which, by the way, would be a pretty awesome name for a new weapon in Battlefield 4, so DICE, if you can, <clears throat> you know, make it happen, that, that'd be great. Though there's still plenty of room for speculation, we are sticking firmly with what we know this week, despite the fact that a 40x sniper scope sounds like something more suited for looking at paramecia than paratroopers. It's a real thing, though, and it's really in Battlefield 4 for reals. 40x! That's twice the X power of this 20x scope we saw in action at E3. I mean, considering how bad the scope glint was in Battlefield 3, the 40x will probably just blind your enemies forever if they gaze upon it. This should give you enough time to peer into their souls. Because 40x can do that, right? Is that right? Then you can release said souls from their prisons of flesh and bone, provided you can line up the shot. Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on which side of the scope you're on, players can now zero in their own sights. So if you've found a nice spot 300 yards away from an MCOM station, you can just set your range, take aim, and then defend in that super aggravating yet totally legit and effective way that snipers have. Just be sure you're well concealed because all classes now have a DMR type rifle that will probably best you from a good distance away. To prepare yourself for DMRing in BF4, fire up BF3 and spend some trigger time with the Recon class and the M417, which was made available by the Close Quarters expansion. Speaking of Recon, all you gillied up grunts will be happy to know that Battlefield 4 is putting the C4 back in your kit. In your face, support class! Go play in the corner with your big dumb box of bullets and your silly little bipods and your dumb old remote control mortar tube. Oh wait, that looks really pretty cool, actually. Now, you can't really practice with this one aside from pulling out your mortar tube and then watching somebody else fire theirs, but you can get some practice in with the new XM25 Airburst Rifle. This belcher of bursting bullets has been featured in other shooters, but if you're unfamiliar with it, just think of it as the latest escalation in the eternal struggle between rifles and their arch nemeses, walls. To practice, dip your toes into Battlefield Play for free and select the Engineer class. Wait for an enemy to take cover, flick your mouse scroll wheel to set the range, squeeze off a few rounds, and watch as the bullets fly the designated distance and then go boom. Keep a custom sidearm handy though, because at close range, the XM25 just gets really nervous and kind of shuts down and freaks out a little bit. Like that time I did that Explorer presentation on Samuel Champlain in fourth grade. Like why? Who even cares? What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> Now folks, I want to take a moment to step aside from the normal gun show and talk about a battlefield cause that's near and dear to my heart. Smoke. In the battlefields of battlefields past, smoke has been frequently passed over, ignored, left unequipped in favor of other options. Some say it doesn't kill anyone. Others complain that it makes it hard to see. And the most widespread lament of them all, it just doesn't earn me points. But friends, smoke is a powerful ally on the road to victory. Smoke can keep you safe on your way to heal your fellow soldiers, can cover you while you plant a bomb, and smoke can cloak you as you sneak your way through the chaos of a 64-player close quarters match. So please, next time you're arranging your loadout and suiting up for virtual battle, remember the smoke. Remember the smoke. The Battlefield 4 exclusive beta starts on October 1st, with the open beta following on October 4th. So get those finger calisthenics going. In the meantime, share some of your Battlefield tips in the comments below, or send them to me via Twitter, at CTWaters, use the hashtag GSGunShow, and I will totally pass them off as my own, so thanks. 
next week on The Gun Show. The full length treatment for the first time since Bioshock Infinite. It's gonna be GTA 5. It's gonna be awesome. It might be frightening, but it's gonna be great. Believe the hype and we'll see you next week on The Gun Show.